Hi, Little Hello, Learners. <laughs> it's me, Sarah, and this is Chase. Chase, and we're here to give you a few um, exercises for Tumblebees 1. So, Chase, are you ready to help me out today? Yep. Okay, sit on the floor, and we're going to start with our stretches, and Chase, go ahead and show us your pike stretch. Yep, and you want to put your feet nice and straight, point your toes, and reach for your toes. Good job. And then stretch your arms up, and over, and up, and touch your toes. Good job. And then can you show us your butterfly chase? Yep. Good job. And then stretch nose to toes. I don't know how to smell them. <laughs> smell your stinky tootsies. I'm probably my nose. And up. And can you stretch side to side? Show us side to side. In your butterfly? Oh. Yep, butterfly side. Good job. This side. Good job. And can you show us a straddle stretch? side and down the center yep straight knees and pointed toes good job and shake it out <laughs> and then you can do that a few times if you want to and stand up have your little limmer stand up and to work on balance we're gonna have you you ask your little limber to stand in a flamingo. Can you show flamingo? It's one leg up, and oftentimes you might need to hold on to help. And then, can you switch, Chase? Good job. Good job. And then, you're going to work on two foot hops. So hop on two feet. Yep, bunny hop. Bunny hop back. In one place. Good job. Can, do can you do one foot hops? Yep, one foot hop, and then switch feet. Good. And can you reach for the sky? And touch your toes. In. And reach for the sky. And touch your toes. Good. And bunny hop again. And hop on one foot. And switch. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> and set. Freeze. Okay, Chase. Your hands are on your hips. I'm going to have you jump out and in. Ready? Jump out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Just like a jumping jack. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Yep. Good. Pause. Freeze. Freeze. Okay, now, little limmers, we're going to have you work on your bridges this week. So, Chase, go ahead and lay on your back. Can you face sideways and show? Good job. You're going to put your heels up. Yep, and you're going to put your hands by your... You're going to put your hands by your ears, and you're going to push up. Push up and get your head off the floor. Good job, and come down. Good job, and one more, one more time. One, two, three, up. Push, push hard. You got it. Good, and come down. Now, parents, you may you may need to help by um, helping them get their head off the floor. So, Chase, if you're laying down, go ahead and lay down. You might need to help by spotting them like this, right underneath their lower back. Don't pull up very hard. And then when you help them down, make sure you support behind their head. And then if we're going to go ahead and work on back bends, I don't have to help. you're going to want to spot, stand up this way, stand up, stand up, and arms up by your ears, and feet should be about shoulder width apart, no, face me, feet should be about shoulder width apart, like that, and then go ahead, right behind, here, <laughs> don't look at the camera, look back. And then have them reach back. Go ahead. Look to the floor. One more time. 
have to put my hair down a little So for a back bend, you're going to want to, here go, feet about shoulder width apart, hands up. You don't have to put my hands on the floor. You don't, no. And then have them reach back. Reach back with your hands. Only about as far as they want to go. Try and get them, here, sit down. Try and get them to keep their hands up straight. If you work on this, because even if they're really, really little, their hands will still be above their head. And if they're straight, go ahead and straighten your arms. And they're like this. When they hit the floor, they can't touch their head. Okay, so for balancing today, we're going to practice going side by side with a straight line. So, Chase, can you put your hands to the side again, like this? Out to the side, and can you step into flamingo and switch your legs every time? Yep, and stay really close up tight to straight line. Good job. Can you turn around and go back? Good job. Good job. Now, can you put your feet really close to the straight line this time and bunny hop? Bunny hop. Yep, and make sure your feet stay really close. Good job. Turn around and go back. Yeah. One more time. Sweep, 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 sweep. <laughs> Good job. Now, can you do bear crawl? Bear crawls are a really, really good large motor movement skill to practice. They don't have to go fast. Um, but they can if they want to. They don't have to go slow. They don't have to go quick <laughs> and slow. No, nope. go at your own speed, right? Now, this one is a, <laughs> there's a really slow motion one for you. This one, we can move the straight line away. Anymore. There are other things you can do to practice. Um, you can do hops back and forth over them. Um, other things like that for fun going on a straight line, but it's hard when you don't have a beam. Um, so back up for me and put your hands to the side. One more time. And can you show step kicks all the way down? There we go. Good job. Step kick. 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 Okay, good. Now go back and make sure that your toes are pointed. Very nice. Now another fun activity you guys might like to do is play a game called Simon Says. Now, with Simon Says, you can only do something if your grown-up starts with, or your big brother or big sister, Simon says. But, so, but it's okay if you, they don't say Simon says and you actually do do it. Yeah, if they if Simon doesn't say, then you shouldn't do it. You gotta listen really, really, really carefully. Are you ready? So here we go. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon says, touch your head. Touch your knees. Good job. Simon didn't say touch your knees. Simon says touch your toes. Simon says put your hands on your hips. Reach to the sky. Good job. Simon didn't say reach to the sky. Simon says reach to the sky. Simon says jump up and down. Simon says, put your foot in a flamingo. Good. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Put your hands on your shoulders. That's right. Simon didn't say. <laughs> Good job. Simon says, put your hands on your belly. Simon says, do a big kick. Simon says, Hop on one foot. Take a bow. <laughs> That's right, Simon didn't say. Simon says stop. So that's another fun game you guys can play together um, at home. It's fun for the kids and it helps for listening and it just helps get some energy it, out. It helps with your ears because hearing. Yep, for hearing, for listening, right? Yep.
Okay, Chase, can you help by showing us some donkey kicks? So you're going to put your hands on the floor, yep, and then you're going to kick. Now, can you face sideways? There you go. Now kick. Kick your bum. Yep. Just like that. Now, if your little one's having a hard time, here, come down. Put your hands on the floor. You can help by spotting them right underneath their hips like that. And that helps them, that helps make sure that their they, arms they are straight. And they don't kick over their head. That they don't kick over the head and that they don't fall down onto their face because that would be very hurtful, right? And not safe. That would be not safe. Um, so yeah, uh, doggy kicks are another thing that we've been working on. Um, in the last video, we also showed how to work on some handstands by climbing your feet up the wall. And that's another really good one to work on. Next week... Oh, that's why we have one in class. Yeah. So this week you guys should still practice your donkey kicks and your bridges and back bends. And then your handstand walks up the wall like we had in um, a video from a couple weeks ago. So all of those things you should definitely keep practicing and practice all your balancing stuff, hopping on one foot, balancing on one foot, hopping on two feet. Um, definitely try and find something to use for a straight line if you can. Um, if not, that's okay too. Um, you can also practice like we did in the other video, hopping over stuffed animals. That's always really fun. Um, and yeah. That's about it. So we hope you guys are doing really well, and we hope that we see you soon. Bye. Bye. I love you, little lemon.